Worship is what you're devoted to. Worship is what you think about all the time. Worship is what consumes your time and your money. Latest computers, latest technology, whatever it is that you're hung up on, that's what you're worshiping. Oh, our Lord. Oh, our God. You are the only one worthy of my worship. My worship is for you, the Creator, not for this creation. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. I send salams on the last and final Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, on his companions, his family, wives, and those who follow right guidance until the end of times. I welcome you back to this, the Peace Vision of Islam Conference for 2008. We have as our speaker for the day, Sheikh Yusuf Estes from the United States of America. He will be speaking on the topic, Worship the Creator, not the created. At this time, I would like to welcome Sheikh Yusuf Estes to the stage, inshallah. Ladies and gentlemen, Sheikh Yusuf Estes. Sheikh Yusuf Estes was born in 1944, and he has become one of the voices of Islam in the English-speaking world today. Born into a Catholic family, Estes was raised in Texas, where he became music minister and a preacher he learned about Islam and the Quran. Yusuf Estes converted along with his father, his wife, and children to the Islamic faith in 1991. He is a worker and a presenter and has given lectures and sermons in many countries around the world besides his native birthplace, the United States. He has many websites through which he does dawah, one of them which he would like to introduce you to is www.youtubeislam.com, youtubeislam.com, which is one word. His humorous ways help to hold the interest of Muslims and non-Muslims alike, especially today's youth. Insha'Allah, with no further delays, not that there were any delays, Insha'Allah, we would like to welcome Sheikh Yusuf Estes and his humorous ways to the podium, Insha'Allah. Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam wa rasulullah wa ala alayhi wa sabi ajma'een. Ashadu la ilaha illallahu wa ahti la shrikallah wa ashadu muhammadin abdahu wa rasul ma ba'ad. Assalamu alaikum. إن الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين هو الذي جعل المسلمين. The thanks is for Allah who made us Muslims. الحمد لله. Often we hear people say, if they're Christian, they say I love the Lord, and if they're Muslim, they say I love Allah. You heard these people, yeah? And you ask them. If you love the Lord, or if you love Allah, then how come you don't follow what He showed us to do? And they tell you, Oh, you don't understand. You don't know my heart. You don't know my heart. I love the Lord. I love Allah. You meet some people like this? You know what I mean? Huh? Well, if it's a Christian or a Jewish, and you ask them, you know the Ten Commandments, clearly it says, don't lie. Don't lie. And don't steal. It says it in your book. 
But when you do your income tax, do you have income tax in India? You do? Lots of it? Lots and lots of it? Alhamdulillah, at least you have lots of something in India. Taxes. Yeah, I'm from taxes. I mean Texas. <laughs> have you ever wondered? <laughs> People from Texas, they can't get their words right. Have you noticed that? <laughs> <laughs> you don't even have to be president to get mixed up. <clears throat> anyway, you know it helps if you laugh at these stupid jokes because they're not going to get any better. <laughs> but you ask somebody, if you said you believe in the Lord, but you cheat on your income tax, you're stealing and you're lying. You're stealing and you're lying. And in your book it says you can't steal and you can't lie. He said, but I love the Lord and the Lord loves me. They do that. I grew up around Christians this is what they say. Or if you ask a Muslim, he said, I love Allah. You say, brother, if you love Allah, but we don't see you follow Islam. He said, you don't know my heart. You ask a sister, why you don't wear hijab? I love Allah, that's enough. Allah knows my heart. My hijab is in my heart. When they say, I said, maybe we need to have open heart surgery and get it out of there. I mean, you know, this is dangerous. Maybe something wrong, I don't know. But we always hear people talk like this, don't we? I was reading in the Bible in the New Testament many years ago and I found a passage when I was preaching and when I read it the people got mad at me because it says that Jesus told the people that if they love him that they're gonna have to obey the commandments if you want to be with me in paradise, he's, he's telling them. You have to follow the commandments. You have to obey the commandments. It's what it says to them. Now, we don't even know for sure what the real Bible was anymore. But at least what they're carrying in their hand with them is telling them to obey the commandments. But you ask them, why you don't do it? You don't know my heart. Just the Lord knows my heart. You ask them, why you don't go to church? They're supposed to go to church. It's a commandment. You don't go to church. You see, you don't know my heart. Another commandment is never take God's name in vain. But yet you say bad words and you use God's name in a bad way. They say, you don't know my heart. I come back to the Muslims again and I find something similar Muslims have commandments in the Quran yes or no it tells Muslims clearly about what they should eat and not eat drink and don't drink you know what I'm talking about Tells them about boyfriends and girlfriends? Yes or no? Uh-huh. But when you say anything, they say, you don't know my heart. What are you doing with this girl over here? I was giving her dawa. <laughs> now maybe he's telling the truth. After all, the word da'wah, it means invitation. Yeah, I heard that. Now, when one of our brothers came from Arabia to the United States, he'd never been around women, except that they always have the black robe, everything on, abaya. So he's standing there. He just got off the airplane. He's like this.
And we said, Abdullah, what are you doing, man? You're supposed to look down, drop your gaze, man. He said, it says in Islam, we're allowed one look, and I did not blink yet. You know what I'm talking about. And if you ask him, he's going to say, but I love the Lord. I love Allah, and Allah loves me. And this is the excuse that Jews, Christians, and Muslims have been using over and over and over. They claim that they